Hi Capricorn, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So let's take a look at Capricorn singles, new love, who may be coming into you, your next date, your next love, your next major relationship, your future ex. Who knows what we're going to get here. It could be very good. It could be so-so. So take the energies how you feel it resonates for you. May or may not feel like it resonates for everybody so please do keep that in mind want to take the energies as they come so this is for sun moon rising in venus male or female it's a general collective reading not a private reading however if you like a private reading all that information is down below in the description box feel free to check that out as well um, as well as the decks i'm using uh, social media all that great stuff so lock down there your playlist down there also so if this doesn't resonate you can watch past readings and see if something there resonates. I say disregard the dates and uh, watch it anyway. So let's see what we have for Capricorn. I hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So we're going to do here, Capricorn, if you're new, first thing we're going to get, we're going to get this person's energy. What kind of energy will they have when you come across this person, when you meet them? What is their energy like? Could be past or present energy. So let's see for Capricorn Singles, New Love. What is this incoming person's energy like for Capricorn? Spirit, please. I'm feeling that one. Now I'm going to pull the oracles first, and then we'll clarify their energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at how you would feel about each other. Then we'll look at um, if there'll be any obstacles or challenges, then advice, guidance, and what kind of uh, connection it would be. So let's see what we have here for Capricorn. What is this person's, this is like their spirit, their soul energy. You could also get uh, information as far as what they do for their career. Energy also, or just maybe a hobby or what their passion project. So what is their spirit and soul energy like, please, for Capricorn singles? Thank you. That went flying over there. Okay. So I'm going to get a romance angel. See what their love energy is like. For Capricorn, singles, new love, spirit, please. Thank you so much. Someone lies in Venus, male or female, collective. For Capricorn, singles. What is the love energy like of incoming new love? Wow, that was quick. Very quick. All right. Capricorn. Let's see what we have. What is their energy like? We have presence, awareness, attention, reality, and connection. So we have 44. 4 is about stability. So this is double stability. So this person could be very, very stable, um, you know, in their career, in their home life, even if they're single. Uh, they have everything they need, probably, you know, good on their own. They're making their money. Um, they're very aware of everything around them. I think they really pay attention to details. Um, they don't, like, nothing slips by them. They see and they're aware of everything around them at all times because they pay attention. And uh, they're aware of the reality of things around them. I feel like they don't lie to themselves. They don't lie to other people. They tell you know tell it like it is kind of per, uh, person and connection. So they could be spiritual. This purple energy to me is all about um, spiritual energy, manifestation kind of energy. So you, feel, you see this person here is really connected to the energy around her. So I feel like this person is very connected to everything going on around them. Like they don't miss anything. They see every little detail present in every single moment. Not getting a bad energy, like, you know, but uh, they're very aware, aware of everything around them. Okay, so and if you add 44, that's 8. And that's about action, travel, communication. So they could travel uh, for their work. They could uh, enjoy traveling. Someone who takes action um, is not afraid to take action. So probably a good communicator also. So let's see what we have here. So we have oracle cards. You're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. So <laughs> they could be a, a tarot reader or something like that. Um, Let's see if we can get another one. Because, you know, there's not many. Well, it could be a man or a woman, but let's see if we get one more. Um, but again, yeah, they could be a tarot reader. They could be spiritual. They could, um, 
read palms. They could be psychic. I mean, they could anything in the spiritual world here. So let's see if we get another one. I'm just curious what else would come out here for Capricorn. Maybe that's uh, what they do, or maybe they do it us on the side. Maybe they're interested, not really getting anything else here. So maybe they're just interested. Maybe it's a side project, a side hobby, um, or maybe they're into motiv motivational books, uh, messages, you know, quotes, and that kind of energy also. So let's see what they're. Maybe they've gotten tarot readings themselves. See what their love energy is like. You deserve love. You are lovable. So, and you see they have their arrow here ready to shoot it at somebody. So I feel like this is someone who, you know, if they've been in something in the past, maybe they went through a period where they felt like they didn't deserve love, but now they could be in this energy of, you know what? I do deserve love and I'm ready to shoot my arrow here at somebody here. <laughs> so somebody here really feeling like, you know, and I feel like they're not afraid either to let their person know um, also that they're very deserving of love, affection, kind of energy also. Kind of like everybody deserves love. All right, so let's see what we get here. Let's clarify this energy for Capricorn Spirit, please, about this person. So we have the Five of Wands. This is about conflict competition. It could be inner conflict, outer conflict, or competition around them. All right, so what else? What else here for Capricorn, this person? So we have the devil energy here. So that's your energy, Capricorn, but this is their energy. So, but we do have Capricorn. They could be a fellow Capricorn. Um, and then we have the knight of cups, uh, no, the Knight of Wands, sorry, the Knight of Rods. So this could be Leo, but some say it could be Sagittarius, so, but uh, let's get a few more so I can piece this all together for their energy. So I feel like, I feel like they turn, they turn their back on, they're not afraid to turn their back on toxic situations that they feel are not serving, serving them, that aren't the best for them. I feel like they're very spiritual and grounded uh, divinely connected to source, to, to the earth, to everything around them. They're very aware of the energies around them. It's like they almost know when something is toxic and it's just like they, they have uh, an inner knowing like when something's going to be toxic and there's going to be an outburst or a fight or just bad energy. It's like they just turn their back and they walk away. Like, you know, this isn't worth it. It's just move in another direction. I feel like they're just going in another direction. But the Knight of uh, Rods, Wands, really somebody who's a go-getter. They go after what they want, a lot of drive, passion, ambition. And I had felt that. Especially, uh, we had 44 8, which is about taking action. So I feel like they're not afraid to take action or turn their back or whatever here. But we do have the Page of Rods here. Page of Wands now. Getting more fire energy. I think... They're not afraid to leave a toxic situation, no matter what it is. It could be a work environment or something, and and go on search for something new. Because a page of rods could be a new offer, a new idea, uh, a good news coming in, or something like that. It's like they see something, an opportunity, an offer, they go after it. It's like, no, nope, I'm not going to deal with this toxic BS. I think that's uh, the energy of this person. Like they don't deal with toxic BS. Like, they don't put up with that energy at all. All right. So we got the Wheel of Fortune. So we got Sagittarius here. Yeah, they go after fortune somewhere else here. They're not afraid to go in a new direction because the fate, because this is fate, destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. This is about um, things getting better, going in a new direction, and turning the wheels of fate. So they're not afraid to turn their own Wheel of Fortune and go in a new direction. And I feel like no matter what they do here, things work out for the best for them. Maybe they get guidance, uh, you know, from somebody who reads cards or something like that. But Or it could be a little project, a little side hobby, a uh, passion project. What else here? Yeah, there's the Eight of Wands coming out, and that was the Eight up here about when I had said about taking action, travel, communication. So I definitely feel like here they're... Not, 
someone who was not afraid to move in a new direction and move out of um, toxic energies, whatever they may be. Could be work environments, uh, could have been relationship environments in the past where they're like, you know, nah, I'm not putting up with this. I feel like this is the person just doesn't put up with it. Nope. Turn my back, go in a direction. I'm going in the direction here of a new offer, a new opportunity. Turn my own wheel and I'm taking action. So we have a lot of fire here. So they definitely could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And this did remind me of Sagittarius up here. So definitely could be Sagittarius. All right, so that's their energy. So I feel like whatever situations they've been in the past that were toxic, they just pulled themselves right out of it and they went in a new direction. And they, no matter what they did, you know, luck was always on their side. Um, and things always worked out for them. Because they're very connected, very connected to themselves, energies around them, the opportunities coming their way. And I had sensed that with the purple up there with the manifestations. So they not afraid here to manifest their own beginnings. Okay, so, or if they had, you know, the Capricorn, the devil here can't talk about, you know, addictions, obsessions, things like that. Not really getting that. But if they did have something like that, I feel like they overcame that energy. I just feel like they just don't deal with toxic situations. Nope, not dealing with it. I don't put up with BS at all. All right, so let's see, Capricorn, how you will feel about this person. Maybe we'll see uh, how you may meet them, perhaps maybe a time frame. Although it's kind of hard right now, we're all in lockdown, but we'll see what we get here. So, or I could keep it open, could be any time. All right, Capricorn, how would you feel about this person? Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Knight of Cups, so <laughs> intemperance. This Sag energy again in the Seven of Wands. Wow, so I feel like here with the Knight of Cups, this could be um, Scorpio. doesn't have to be Sagittarius again. So I feel like here with the Knight of Cups, this is moving forward in love, taking action towards love. I think you're going to see this person and see like how well balanced they are, how peaceful they could be someone who is peaceful, and that's why they don't deal with BS and toxic energy and negative energy. So I think you're going to see like how peaceful they are, balanced they are, um, patient. Maybe, you know, maybe they are patient, but when it comes to BS, they're not kind of energy, if you know what I mean. So I think you're going to see uh, this person and be like, oh, you know. Seven of Wands here, though, can be talk, talk about being defensive or on guard. Um, or fighting for something, you know, defending something and fighting for it. So you may want to fight for this person because you see them and like, wow, you know, really like their energy. And I feel like you're going to want to move towards them. Kind of energy. All right, so let's get uh, how they would feel about you, Capricorn. And the temperance angel usually brings in, I forgot what angel that is, but he usually brings in uh, soulmates together, brings in what's meant to be, as with the Wheel of Fortune does over here. So how would you feel about this person? Well, how would this person feel about you? This is how you would feel about them. But how would they feel about Capricorn? Page of Swords. So this person's very honest. I felt that. Um, but this can also be, you know, honest open communication, or it could be learning something online or doing research. They may need to learn about you. They may need to watch you a little bit. Maybe you may find them a little defensive, though they're in the energy here of you deserve love. But, um, you know, maybe whatever they've been in the past here that's been toxic could have been relationships or something. So they could be a little bit on guard. But I think you're really going to find love the energy of this person. Just how they hold themselves, how they present themselves, um, kind of energy. You may find them a little, a little bit uh, defensive on guard, but I feel like you're going to want to fight for them. Like you really want to move towards them in some way, shape, or form. But they may need to watch you. I don't mean like in a stark way, but they may need to, I don't know, find out a little more about you, get to know you a little bit. Um, first, so let's get a few more. 
So now we have the Knight of Swords. This is taking uh, quick, swift, fast action. So that could be um, Aquarius energy now. So let's get one more. So I think, okay, let me get one more. The High Priestess. Pisces energy. They might not tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they're checking you out like online finding out more about you they may kind of you know put up a little bit and you know maybe I mean you might approach them I'm feeling you might approach them like either just to strike up a conversation could be somewhere outside like at a park or something like that in nature or like out on a trail or something like that but um I feel like they may, they may, you know, hold you at, at bay a little bit. And maybe, you know, there might be some conversation here. We do have a lot of swords, especially with the page. They may be honest with you. But uh, I feel like they may, you know, have to, like, may you get your switch information, change, exchange information. They may want to just, like, look you up a little bit, see what you're about. Then I feel like they're going to come rushing in. But I think they're not going to tell you that, you know, they looked you up online or they did some research about you. Or whatever here, because the high priestess uh, kind of keeps to themselves. But this is about trusting, you know, gut intuition, higher knowing. So I feel like this person is very intuitive, divinely connected, and I had felt that up here. So I think they're going to follow their intuition. And once they find out about you, I don't think they're going to, like, stalk you, like, forever. I think they're just going to maybe look at your social media just a little bit to see what you're about. And then they may come rushing in. They may come rushing in, and they're going to trust their intuition on that. All right, so let's see. So I'm getting, getting like maybe, you know, fall into winter energy here. All right, so let's see what the challenges or blocks could be. So we have the Ace of Rods and we have the Star. Wow, this is divinely guided energy, faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, healing energy. And this is a brand new, passionate, fiery opportunity, divinely guided, uh, exciting. So we do have healing here, divinely guided energy and a passionate new beginning. That's divinely guided. So this could be blocks or challenges. So let's see. We have Two of Pentacles, a little bit of an imbalanced energy, trying to juggle things around. We do have Aquarius here. Let's see what else. Oh, that's way too many. Let's take this one. But we have Reuniting here, coming together, going out, having a drink. And then we have Death here with Scorpio. This is about en endings and transformations. So there may be a little bit of block here to... Um, I feel like there's going to be some sort of imbalance in some way. But we have, you know, transformation here and then massive healing here and having that faith, hope, optimism, you know, wishes a dream coming true. This divinely guided, passionate new beginning. And then coming together. So, although I feel like once they find out a little bit about you, they're probably going to come rushing in here. There may be a lot of passion, which may block this a little bit to transform into something more balanced. We do have the Three of Cups here. I'm not sensing a third party kind of energy, but, you know, this is about coming together, reuniting, going out, going on a date, getting a drink or something like that. But there will be a need here to put down old ways of thinking, believing about past relationships. So... Maybe someone here may have a little bit of a hard time doing that. It could be them. Um, it could be you, somebody here. But if we can do that and transform and balance out energies here and believe in this divinely guided energy and have the faith, hope, and optimism for this wish and dream come true and take hold of this fiery, passionate, exciting new beginning that's divinely guided, um, you know, this is a divinely guided energy here. So... We could do that then let's see what kind of connection this would be or advice guidance so let's say advice guidance blockages that i see all right so let's see here i'm feeling like with death like somebody needs to let old things lie be in the past don't let that come into the future connections if that's you if that's them 
All right, so let's see here. Or somebody could be worried about a third party, like if they weren't involved in the past, and there was a third party, and that's what caused, you know, their situation, or you, somebody needs to just let that go, let that end, old way of thinking die, and so we can transform and transition into this divinely guided new energy. All right, so, so we can balance out here. So we have the nine of wands. So this is about not giving up to keep going on, perseverance. This connection. So I feel like we're going to keep going on here. So now we've got the queen of rods, king or queen. Doesn't matter. This is a go-getter energy. Uh, this could be Aries. Going after the want, a lot of drive, passion, ambition kind of energy. So we have an energy of not giving up and going after it, just going after it being courageous, brave, strong, uh, go-getter, justice. So getting justice, serving justice, getting clarity and balance, serving each other justice once and for all in a, a good relationship, not bad relationships that were like in the past. And that's what we need to let go of that new relationships coming up in the future, you know, past relationships don't define your new relationship. So it's letting that go and transforming and transitioning into a new kind of relationship to bring justice and balance, uh, clarity, peace to this new relationship, to persevere on, go after it, don't give up. And here we are sailing off into a better place, leaving into peace, harmony, balance, leaving all situations of the past behind, things of the past before this person, things of the past that happened with this person, and just moving forward to a better place. See what we have at the bottom. Let me take that one. So we have the world. So this could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So this is closing out cycles, having a new cycle here. So the world is giving you here an opportunity to close out old patterns, old cycles, old ways of thinking, believing about relationships. It's starting a whole new cycle with this person that will lead you to happily ever after, your Ten of Cups, happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way, a more stable, grounded, practical um, type of connection here, king or queen. This is uh, Capricorn. That is our energy. But we do have indecisive energy here. Patiently waiting, but we do have manifesting a brand new beginning here, Gemini Virgo. So I feel like once we see, take the blinders off here and see that this is something meant to be a ship divinely guided to you, because this is usually about waiting for your ships to come in. See, the ship was meant for me with the star energy. Then we can manifest this brand new beginning. Very stable, Ten of Cups. Total happiness, peace, happy home and family. Having a whole new relationship, a whole new world, a whole new way with somebody here that is much more stable than your past. Capricorn, wow. Okay, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So best of luck to you, and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.